Hey there and welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors and joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis and uh, Doug looks like we're uh, talking about some geraniums today. We are. It's just not any geranium though. It's a brand new geranium from Proven Winners called Boldly. So what makes them different than just a regular geranium? Uh, Boldly geraniums is actually a cross between the zonal geranium and an ivy geranium and what that does is it gives it a more billowy uh, appearance. Uh, they bloom better than a traditional uh, geranium. They'll bloom um, in the heat of summer. They'll bloom from spring all the way to fall. So would you say that it's a little more suited for this part of the country, a little more durable? Yes, very durable. Uh, you know, people always uh, come to me and ask, what can I plant in wind? Because my, we have a lot of wind in South Dakota yep. here. And um, uh, this geranium will hold up to the strong winds and it complements a lot of other plants. You can use it as a, a filler or a thriller. Um, I gave some examples here um, of using with sun coleus, diamond frost, or ageratum. They all complement this uh, uh, geranium quite well. So um, they're easy to maintain is what I like. Uh, what you need to do with them is deadhead. Any geranium needs to be deadheaded right. just to keep it blooming. And if you're going to fertilize, use a water-soluble fertilizer, but at half strength. Uh, they will like to be fed, but not as strong as some other plants. Full sun, half sun? Full sun, they'll take partial sun. Um, I've even grown them in, in almost complete shade. So they're, they're pretty, uh, they'll adapt to a lot of different conditions. Annual, perennial? These are annuals. Annuals, okay. And uh, some people do take them in and they winter in their garage and so forth, which can be done. Wanted to just show a little secret that I do quite often uh, yeah. with a lot of planters. Um, you can go to a store and you can find a plant like this. In something like this, there's four plants. It's actually cheaper to buy a pot like this and put it into a larger plant, planter, than uh, buying individual plants. So uh, I always encourage people, get a larger focal point and then build from there. What I did down here today was I took the boldly hot pink geranium, combined it with some lime, sweet potato vine, and then uh, some pink mini tunias as a complement. And uh, it doesn't take long at all to come up with a great uh, planter. Yeah, and like you said, it works as a good uh, filler, a good thriller too. It does, it does. And it's, uh, it's something striking, easy to maintain, which a lot of people like. Yep. And uh, it'll just keep going and performing all summer long. Any other tips or tricks for us for these uh, geraniums? Uh, nope, I, I encourage everybody to try them. Of course, we have our, you can download on the website, yep. all the information we're talking about today. Uh, spacing on these, one plant usually is about 12 inches. We'll get to be about 12 inches wide. So uh, it, it does fill in quite nicely in any of your planters. Make sure that it just has a little bit of room to grow when you plant it, right? Exactly. All right, Doug, thank you so much. As Doug said, we're going to have all this information as well as that PDF for you to download on our website, dakotanewsnow.com, right after the show. Make sure you stick around, though. We have FastCast coming up next.